Right. Well, being a parent means wearing many hats and making time for ourselves can be difficult. Well, dad blogger Rich Bracken says still that should be at the top of our daily to-do list. He's back with tips on how to do just that. Michelle? Well, dad blogger Rich Bracken from EnrichYourSoul.org is back with us this morning. Great to have you back, Great Rich. Great to be back, Nick. I it's appreciate it. Good to it. see you. This morning you've got uh, top the top four investments that we should make in ourselves. So let's get right to it. Let's get into it. The first one is? The first one is love yourself. So it's so hard nowadays to really focus on you because there's so many distractions in the world, so many people to try to keep up with uh, through news and media and social media and whatnot that we forget to really appreciate who we are and we put too much pressure on ourselves. So it's important to take time every day to really appreciate where you are, what you've got, who you are, who's around you. Just appreciate the love around you and love yourself and appreciate who you are. Is it almost a gratitude list? Is, is something like it that? It really is. You know, a gratitude list always helps, but truly just taking, you know, putting everything aside, turning everything off and just looking around you yeah. is, is usually enough. Just take 30 seconds, five minutes, whatever you can spare and just get into the day and really just appreciate it. Soak it in and, and make it what it is. Number two is something that we always complain that we don't have enough of. Time. And if I can never create the 26th <laughs> through 28th hour in a day, I would do it in a heartbeat. But everybody talks about how much time they don't have. And if you look at your day and you really focus on what are you filling your day with? And we all have those, uh, those times as well that somebody comes to us, they have an emergency, I'll make time for you. That's fun and that's great to be a great friend and, and supportive, but why aren't we making time for ourselves? Mm -hmm. You know, it, you are your best friend. And so if you need an emergency, if you need that time, you need to stop and say, hey, look, I've got to take time for myself. So I started taking a journal of my day and figuring out where, those, where that time was going. And you can find some pockets really easily, five minutes, 10 minutes. It adds up throughout the day and block that time off for yourself. Make the time. All right, number three. What's this number three all about? Number three is my favorite topic in the entire world, <laughs> music. Um, so I am that guy that at a red light, on the highway, uh, in the shower, wherever, I am singing. Music is a humongous part of my life and always has been. And, you know, we all know that music can turn your day. It can turn your mood and it can make you immediately happy. You know, one of my favorite artists is actually a guy named Justin Timberlake. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Yes! So We just heard his song. Right, and it's funny that you heard that song, and I'm glad that you've already warmed up, Nick, because I'm going to need you to do some dancing to show the people at home how easy it is to turn your mood, to use those endorphins. See? Look at this. Look at this. Nick is working it for you, Casey. It's that easy. Just turn it on. Just get it loose. Oh, man, I'm feeling better already. <laughs> I am feeling better already. I totally agree. See? I am down with mood that. Mood is up and endorphins are up. You're already in a great mood. And you just now made everybody else around you happy and everybody at home happy. Look, so. everybody is smiling. <laughs> it works, Rich. It's contagious. It's throughout the room. This, there's energy in this room that I've never felt before. Oh, my gosh. That is awesome. <laughs> and the last one is put your phone down. You know, yeah. we, we since, the, since the dawn of the smartphone, we have become so attached to our phones. You know, I, you now miss the days of the 27-foot wall phone in the kitchen yes. that used to get wrapped around you, and that was, that was your communication. But now, you know, smartphones are, are the source of everything. News, weather, your, your communication with the outside world, everything and anything, things that we didn't even know that we needed. Um, but sometimes they're called cell phones because we're prisoners of them. Mm -hmm. So putting your phone down, dedicating your time to just say, you know what, I'm just going to disconnect. Um, you know, especially with children, you know, that's one thing that I'm guilty of that I've been working on very consciously is when my boys are around, when I'm around my, my sons, I put my phone away. I put my, I plug it and I put it in another room because that time is so precious. I'm never going to get that time back. And I don't want to go at the end of my life and say, you know what, I had a great life looking at other people's lives and I feel good about what they did. Um, but and the other thing too is, is my biggest pet peeve is people that are texting and driving. That yeah. is a number one pet peeve for me. Put your phone down. I mean, it just, there's, there's a time and a place. So find that time, you know, going back to make your time, block that time to, to look at your phone and check your emails and things like that. But for God's sake, put your phone down when you're driving. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, great ideas. That was fun. I appreciate it. Yes, it I'm was. I'm pumped. Hey, you can read more about uh, Rich's website. It's enrichyoursoul.org. You also can connect with him on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we'll make sure to have all those links on our website at fox4kc.com. Great stuff. Thanks again, Rich. Appreciate it. Thanks, Nick. Great seeing you. Michelle?